Well, hello there, person. Wow, what a victorious time this is right here. Oh my gosh. So I've got the Wraith server project started. Uh, Wraith Binder is going to be a multiplayer game. Online multiplayer, real-time multiplayer. The packets going back and forth between players and servers and peer-to-peer -peer as well as sort of a cl hybrid client-server model. Um, and now we finally have the server project created. So we've got some client code created, some server code created, um, some messaging, and a very simple example here I'm going to show you where uh, when, the, when the client starts, the game starts, it connects to the server. We've got a little hi, hello message going and a little bye, goodbye message. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let's run this. Um, so we've got, uh, let's see, we're gonna, we got the client ready to go. Let's get the server going. So I'm going to log into my server here. I'm going to the directory where I put all my Wraithbinder stuff. And um, I'm just going to make, I'm going to run the project. I can actually build the whole project and everything here, but um, I've already did all that. And I know there's a couple errors because I was doing some work last night on it. So um, let's just run what we have existing. Okay, so we're listening on just some random port for now. We've got socket three listening. We're using BSD sockets right now for now. Uh, but I plan on using um, my publisher's awesome engine, my publisher double 11, they're amazing. So that's part of the work I've been doing to get this all going, to get this whole client server model going. I'm using their engine. And it took quite a while to get uh, the engine compiling and making sure it, it compiles on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So I've got that all kind of under my belt at this point. And now I'm using their engine to do some work on the multiplayer. So uh, so let's go ahead and run this. Um, we're gonna run, we've got the, the server running, it's listening um, on its port, and we're gonna run the client. And we're gonna see a little hello message and a goodbye message. All right, so we got the game running. And let's go back to my server, and you can see that we received hi from, um, it doesn't say, uh, because I haven't figured out how, yet how to get uh, the address from BSD sockets, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty simple. Um, so we've got the client running, it said hello, and I could run around and do some stuff, but really the, uh, the only messages we've got so far are hello and goodbye. So when I close the client, when I quit this the game, we're going to see a goodbye message sent to the server, and there you go. Received by from, once again, blank. Uh, but then it closes that socket and it's prepared to launch again. So we could actually, you know, we could run again, do a quick little hello, goodbye. So we should have hello and goodbye. And back here, there we go. So we've got a hello and goodbye and we're ready to listen again on on uh, a new socket. So we're going to quit the server project for now. And... There you have it. That's really that's really all I wanted to show. It's kind of it's it's such a small little thing I just showed you there, but it's a very big thing for this video game. This is so cool. This is going to be this is going to this is the basis, the foundation for enabling the game to communicate player to player and have uh, have PVP matches, have co-op battles, um, fight co-op battles versus PvE or PVP. Um, yeah, so this is so so exciting. Um, yeah, I mean, gosh, there's really not anything else to say today, so, uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching this video. We'll catch you on the next one.